Welcome to Pwned Own 2017. It's our 10th anniversary and our largest contest ever, with over $1 million up for the taking. Once again, we'll crown a Master of Pwn as the overall winner at the end of the contest. This year sees 11 teams of contestants targeting products across four categories, 30 different attempts in total. Let's see the results. Our day started with the 360 security team successfully using a JPEG 2000 heap overflow, a Windows kernel info leak, and an RCE through an uninitialized buffer to take down Adobe Reader. In the process, they earned themselves $50,000 and six points towards Master of Pwn. Next up, Samuel Gross and Nicholas Bumstark earned some style points by leaving a special message on the touch bar of the targeted Mac. They employed a use after free in Safari, combined with three logic bugs and a null pointer dereference to exploit Safari and elevate to root in Mac OS. Unfortunately, the UAF was corrected by the beta version, earning them only a partial win. They still managed to earn 28,000 and nine Master of Pwn points. The next contestant was Tencent Security Team Ether targeting Microsoft Edge. They succeeded by using an arbitrary write in Chakra and Sandbox Escape using a logic bug within the Sandbox. This netted them $80,000 and 10 points for Master of Pwn. Ubuntu Linux was welcomed to Pwn to Own by the Chatain Security Research Lab. They leveraged a Linux kernel heap out of bounds access bug to earn themselves $15,000 and three Master Pwn points. We've seen folks pop calc before, but popping xcalc was a nice touch. Despite their earlier success, Tencent Security Team Ether withdrew their entry targeting Microsoft Windows. Ralph Philip Wyman also withdrew his attempt to exploit Microsoft Edge. Perhaps the recent security patches affected their exploits after all. Next, Tencent Security Team Sniper, Keen Lab, and PC Manager targeted Google Chrome with a system level escalation. Unfortunately, they couldn't get their exploit chain to work within the allotted time frame and failed this attempt. However, the team came right back to target Adobe Reader and succeeded by using an info leak in Reader followed by a UAF to get code execution. Then, they leveraged a UAF in the kernel to gain system level privileges. Being the second win in the enterprise application category, it netted them $25,000 and six points for Master of Pwn. The Chatain Security Research Lab followed up their previous success with some fantastic late evening exploits. They broke through Apple Safari to gain root access on Mac OS by using a total of six bugs in their exploit chain, including an info disclosure in Safari, four different type confusion bugs in the browser, and a UAF in Windows Server. This demonstration earned them $35,000 and 11 points towards Master of Pump. They also let us know their research was guided by advisories released through the ZDI program. Completing the nightcap round of our first day, Richard Zhu, also known as Fluorescence, failed to successfully exploit Apple Safari within the allotted time. We wish him success in his attempts tomorrow. Overall, it was a fantastic start to the first day of our largest competition ever. Be sure to check back for all the latest from this 10th anniversary edition of Pwn to Own.